Hey there and welcome to my what's in my Disney World diaper bag winter edition. So we're going to be going through my backpack diaper bag and my mommy bag that I carry with me and sharing what I have stocked in there for my Disney park bag during winter time. And to quickly answer one of the most popular diaper bag questions in my DMs is, what do you do with the diaper bag when you go on a ride? And so to answer that question, I leave it in the stroller. Now, obviously you can do whatever you think is best, but I personally leave mine hanging from the stroller. I use these stroller straps. It, mine has D rings on the back. And so I just hook these straps to the stroller and I leave it hanging. Now, the thing is, is I don't leave anything expensive or anything I can't easily replace in this diaper bag. So I also carry around a mommy bag and that has all of my valuables, credit cards, wallet, cash, all of the th expensive things or anything that I would need with me. I have necessities and I have like expensive things in here. My camera gear always goes with me. I vlog our trips. So all of that stuff goes with me. Um, I have it either in my hand or something is going, but I do not leave it in the stroller. Now with this, it's you'll, as you'll see, diapers, wipes, cups, things like that. I can easily replace those. I can order groceries and I can get more diapers, things like that. I mean, I would be sad if I had to replace my diaper bag, but it's not the end of the world. I'm not gonna fall apart if that happens. Um, if someone stole my credit card, I can't pay for things. If someone steals my driver's license, well, I can't fly home. So that's those are earth, earth shattering things that can happen. Um, I've never had an issue with it. I have done it for years now, literally, and no problems whatsoever. So obviously you have to do what is best for you, but that's where I leave my diaper bag. And a little backstory on who I'm even packing this for, so you can kind of get a, an age range for the kids that I'm packing this diaper bag for it. I have a four and a half year old and a two and a half year old little girl. So one is potty trained, one is still in diapers. So we've got a little bit of both of those going on. Now we're out of the baby bottle phase. We're out of the formula, the breast milk. I'm not having to pack any of that. Thankfully, if you do need a newborn baby setup, I do have some other pack with me's and diaper bag setups that I've done in the past. I will link those down below. I have a whole playlist of different ages. So if you're needing newborn or little baby, you can definitely go check that out. But this one is going to be for that toddler preschooler range. Starting out with what I call my mommy bag. Now this is a petunia pickle bottom sling and today's video is not sponsored by anyone. Just full disclaimer there is nothing sponsored. This is all stuff that I have bought and absolutely love and so I'm sharing it with you. So hopefully if you buy it, you love it too. Here in the front pocket though of this bag, I will keep my lip gloss. This is my favorite one and I carry it. It's actually a lip oil, so it's not sticky. I love it. It's amazing. I'm not here to talk about lip oils, but I love this one. So if you're looking for a good one, I will have it linked below. Um, and then I also have this little pouch that is like a little first aid kit. It has chewable medicine for my girls, chewable pain reliever, Tylenol for myself, and also nausea medication. So if the teacups are just a little too much, I've got some backups there. I have a spray Neosporin and some band-aids, and then also some little pieces of moleskin that I have pre-cut in here. That way, if a shoe starts rubbing, anybody in the family we are good to go and I have that all set up I can just pull it out as needed here I also have some snacks so I have two of these like snack bars here and then two other snack bars so if somebody's getting hangry in line then we have options on what is in this pouch and like I can pull something out and fix it pretty quickly. So another thing I love about this bag is that it is very wipeable in this front pocket is insulated. So if you need to put like yogurt pouches or baby food pouches or anything like that, say you are a mom of a little one that eats baby food pouches, you could totally pop some of those in there and keep them cool, throw even an ice pack in there if you needed to, be absolutely perfect in this bag. Um, so lots of different options for that, but that's kind of what I carry in that pocket. Here on the back, I have my portable phone charger. This thing is hands down the best. It charges both my iPhone as well as it will charge um, USB here, micro USB and USB C. And then all you have to do to charge the power brick is plug it in. I don't need cables. I can't lose these cables. Like they're literally attached to the piece. So I think this is like foolproof. So I love it and I think it's the best hands down. Heading on the inside of this bag, 
I have a whole plethora of goodies. Since we're going in, this is a more winter style pack with me. I do have my handheld hand warmer. This is rechargeable, which is awesome, but it has three levels and it's just so nice. It's like holding a warm cup of coffee when you're cold. It's just like, you don't necessarily drink it. You just hold it and it just feels so good. <laughs> this is that. Um, then I also have this sling. So this is perfect. Both my four and a half year old and my two and a half year old can fit in this and I love it. If they are getting tired and we're waiting in line for an attraction and they need to be picked up, this is such a helpful tool. Goes around and pops onto your stroller or on your shoulder rather. Oop, put it on backwards. All you do is pop it on your shoulder and then you can adjust it here with the strap. You can either have them stand on a bench or you can squat down, put this part under their bum and pick them up and it makes it so much easier so you're not just having to use your arm strength to hold them. Kind of gives your arms a little bit of a break and it folds up so small that it fit into this bag. Like it's amazing, highly, highly recommend having something like this. It's a lot less bulky than like a baby carrier and so you don't have to do all of that sort of stuff. Um, you do have to still put one arm around them so it's not gonna completely eliminate that but I just, it's so, so helpful for having. Then I have a couple of disposable potty covers. So some potties have them, some don't. And then this is just so easy. It drapes over it nice and large, even larger than the ones that usually you can find as disposable like toilet seat covers. And so it gives a spot when you have your preschooler and they're sitting there trying to go potty, especially going number two they can hold on to the potty if they're like don't touch me leave me alone if they're little independent selves want no assistance this is a great option for that i have some flushable wipes i can use these for anything you need to use wipes for including wiping bums so that works out really nicely i have my wallet in here i kind of tuck it into the back it has all my wallety things in it i have a diaper i usually have a diaper changing setup in my actual diaper bag so I can grab that out easy and you'll see that in a second to go in and change a diaper but if I find myself in the bathroom and we are desperately needing one like ASAP I've got one in this bag so I'm good to go I can use the flushable wipes and we're set we got a clean bum I have some tissues for no runny noses wiping things whatever maybe handy for a lot of things and then last but not least an activity for my kids so I keep these two little um, LCD tablets in there and so you can draw on these with their fingers or you can even use the pens that come along with them. So they're super cute. I have some larger ones that I've used in the past, but I found these small ones and the fact that they also fit into this bag is like perfection and perfect for waiting in lines at Disney with toddlers or preschool or little kids. This is perfect. If you are enjoying this video so far, I would love it if you would consider clicking the red subscribe button. My name is Ashley and here on my channel, Pixie Dusted Mom, I am all the time sharing tips, tricks, and hacks for taking toddlers and little kids to Disney World, Disney vacation planning tips, family travel tips, as well as vlogs from our adventures along the way. So if that is content that you're into, go ahead, click that red button, change it from red to gray, and let's be virtual Disney besties. Now, while we're on the topic of waiting in lines, I also have these little bags. Now, this is not diaper bag or personal, like, mommy bag but I do have little purses for my girls so having something small it's not like a big backpack but just something that is small it doesn't take up a lot of space I could throw it in the diaper bag or something if I needed to but I just have a couple of activities in here for them I have a couple of <laughs> figurines so we have Bruni from Frozen and then I have like a little car down in there and so these are awesome they pop so they're like it's a toy in and of itself I absolutely love these and so do my girls so I recommend these a ton because they just, they really work well. Now for the diaper bag. For me, when I am doing the bus now on this trip that I'm preparing for, I will be solo. So I will be wearing the backpack on my back, carrying the stroller, like being full on mom mode. Um, so for that, I use this Minnie Mouse carabiner and I will have my cup attached to that. That way it can hang. And because I have two toddler girls, I will have their cups in here. I love that these cups have hooks and so I have actually hooks on my stroller and I can hang this from that which works perfect once we get to the parks but then for getting on buses and things I can put them in the pockets here so I have one for each of them and then also hanging from the back I have my little solar buddy this is a sunscreen applicator so it makes it super easy for being able to just glide it on I've seen the hack of like using a makeup brush and the sunscreen like pushing it on that way I find that this is a lot easier and you don't have to carry multiple things so I think it's just like a genius all-in-one product here it does have a pocket in the back but I don't have anything in it so I'm just gonna zip that up 
But we have our water bottles on the side, like I showed. I'm gonna take this off for filming sake. We're gonna get that out of the way. But on this front pocket here, I have my girls hand warmers because it is going to be cool so these are different temperatures obviously take that with a grain of salt of whether you want to use a hand warmer with your kid i find that these are a way better option than like giving them hot lava of a hot hand into their hand like i would never use that with my kid because they're just they're like hot lava um but these have three different settings so i feel comfortable using it obviously you can use your own parental wisdom but that is one thing that i do use with my girls and then over here I have a couple of these and they are something just came on on the diaper bag <laughs> but um i have this and it attaches to any water bottle and turns it into a sports bottle which is awesome so a lot of times you can get like a mini kid size water bottle with their kids meals at disney world and things so this is perfect it turns it into a little sports bottle which is awesome so they can easily drink out of it and it doesn't spill you guys so these things are fantastic and like perfection for making those open water bottles mess free up here i will keep a pack of wet ones as well as some huggies natural care um just some wipes up there so i have a little pack that i can easily grab and get to if needed um if i need to sanitize anything and feel like i'm needing to wa wipe our hands down more um we are more of a hand washing family than a hand sanitizing family that's just our vibe but obviously you do you um but that's just kind of what i have in there and then headed into the main compartment here so we've got a lot to unpack but i have two kids so <laughs> everything is doubled when you have two children um so first thing i have in here and probably what came on a second ago their cameras so these are perfect my girls absolutely love playing with these in line and at disney world and strolling around and like taking pictures of characters these are so much fun so it's another great line activity fun toy to play with you're probably like why do you take headphones okay so i take headphones i don't take their tablets um i'm the kind of mom i'm like we're in a theme park you do not need a screen. You do not need a tablet. So I'm that mom. Um, if anybody wondered what kind of mom I am on the spectrum of that, it's like, we can use it at the hotel room, but we're in a theme park. Look around you. <laughs> like we're in Disney World. Enjoy it. But I use these for, especially in the evenings when it's fireworks time, if they are overstimulated or a little tired, I can throw these on them and then they'll actually be able to enjoy the fireworks. Cause my girls love fireworks, but sometimes the sound is just too much, which makes a fun thing a not so fun thing. So to make it enjoyable for them, I take their headphones and use that. If you wanted to block out some of the, like creepy, like scary noises on haunted mansion you could use them for that there's so many different things you can use them for if your kid's just overstimulated and needs to like just chill out you could totally like throw these on them and let them play with a toy and just color or just kind of zone out for a minute and relax so kind of a, another option there for that i also take two i've moved to two now you guys i have a toddler and a preschooler so we have moved to two mealtime bags so each child gets to carry their own but i'll show you what's in them i have these little pouches they're super small but these are perfect for grabbing when you're getting ready to go into any restaurant at disney quick service quick service a table service whatever but it has some little dress up stickers in here so they're little princess stickers so i have an activity in there for them something to kind of keep them occupied I also have a long sleeve bib. This is a winter pack with me, winter diaper bag. So I have that in there as well. I also keep a couple of these, which are disposable placemats. These are perfect for sticking down to the table in the restaurant and being able to either lay their food on it or let them color on it or whatever the case may be. They actually stick down. So all you have to do is remove the tabs there on the back, as you can see, stick it down to the table and it's not sliding all over the place or into the floor. So that's nice. For use with those, I keep some crayons in there as well. I do have a disposable bib, so if we need something quick, not quite as large, but I still want to protect that cute outfit from getting to play condition in like two seconds. This is what I use for that. And then last but not least is a silicone straw. I love to take these with us because paper straws are all that Disney offers. And while I understand the reasoning behind it, kids and paper straws, are not usually a great combo 
at least my kids are. Maybe your kids leave them alone. My kids like to chew on them. And then we go through more straws, which kind of I feel like prevents the reason we're doing paper straws because we're just making excess garbage. So that is another thing that I do. I just rinse it out, take it to the restroom or whatever, rinse it out once we're finished with meal time, and then I can pop it right back in the bag and we're good to go. So that is our meal time set up. For diaper changing, I use this little diaper clutch. It fits a full pack of wipes. You just actually put the pack of wipes in there so you're not refilling something. I don't have time for all that. I, I, those things just never worked for me. So I am team use something that actually holds the wipes and I want a full pack of wipes because those travel light wipes have left me high and dry too many times. And I'm like, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. So here we are, full pack of wipes. But here on the back, it has a couple of elastic straps with some diapers in it, so I'm able to use those. I have four size four diapers in here right now, which lasts us for a full morning. We are midday break people, obviously, so if you're gonna be staying longer than that, then you may need some more diapers than a four. You can always throw those in your diaper bag, but that system works well for us. And then I do keep some sort of bottom spray in there as well. Next up, I have my mama pouch, and this just has all of our snacks in it. I like to keep it concealed because I feel like my snacks are like my last ditch trick when my kids are like falling apart it's like hey you want a snack and that's like the cure for saving them so I like to keep them hidden and kind of tucked away and you can have like some secret M&Ms or snacks or whatever it needs to like pull them out <laughs> out of whatever meltdown that they're about to have. Um, we don't, we've got to where we're pretty good at that, but sometimes you just, you need something. So that is another thing that I have in there. This is fun and I'm very excited to have added this to my collection, but this is actually a splash mat or like a splat mat. You can use these under your high chair, but I'm gonna take it since it's so small and thin and I'm gonna take it and you can see it folds out twice as big as this is. Like, and you can see, so there's a lot of room on this, but I am taking it as a picnic blanket so I can sit down, have a clean space to be able to sit and have a picnic with my kids. Or if we're sitting on the sidewalk and we want kind of like a little barrier so people aren't just right on top of you, you can kind of sit down and like have the blanket and it just kind of almost signifies like, hey, personal space. I would like a little air between us, <laughs> not, I don't want to be touching you. Um, but it does like fold up super, super small. So this is another fun little thing that you can throw in there, um, fold it up to use again for parades or whatever. I have some busy pouches. So I have two, obviously one for each of the girls. In here, I keep a little notebook that they can color in or put stickers in. So I have those. I keep a little pack or two of stickers from the Dollar Tree, so nothing expensive. A couple more of those triangle crayons so they're not rolling all over the place. And then last but not least, some snacks. So I just have some in here that they can access and whenever they're ready for a snack, they can kind of be in charge of that so it gives them a little independence of like, I'm craving a snack now. I'm gonna have a snack in color. So this is great for whether you're doing in lines, you're waiting on your spouse at rider switch, or you're just taking a break on the hub grass and enjoying the view of the castle. You can let your kids play. You can maybe enjoy a hot cup of coffee, maybe. Just a thought, um, but that is a great option. And then it's just keep them in these little like mesh pencil type cases. So I have that in there. In the very bottom of the diaper bag, I have these two. I feel like this is like the Mary Poppins bag. I just keep pulling things out, but I have two wet bags, one for the two and a half year old, one for the four and a half year old. And I have a full set of clothes in here, down to underwear, whatever we need, socks. All of that goes in these wet bags. So they are ready to go if we do end up getting wet, we need a change of clothes, we have a blowout, we have a potty accident, whatever, we're ready to go. And that way we're not headed to the gift shop for a $40, $50 outfit when I can easily slide that in my diaper bag. It doesn't take up a lot of space and it's there. And then one of the last few things, I think this is one of two last things, is I keep this pouch with water shoes in it. So around Disney World, there are tons of water play spaces. Now you can obviously avoid these if you don't want to go there or there are ways to stay dry in some of them. But if you take your kids, 
they're gonna want to get wet so in my experience it's just better to prepare for the water than to have to avoid it or deal with a meltdown so I have some water shoes these don't take up a lot of space either they're pretty thin I have two pairs in here but that way I can change them out of their sneakers and into these because I don't pack a ton of shoes when we go and you don't always have a bunch of backups or if you're packing lightly you just don't have room for all that and especially during winter time we don't have sandals or anything like that so it's better to have a pair of water shoes that way I can change them into those they can splash and then take the water shoes off of them dry their feet and put on their nice warm dry shoes back on them so that works out really really well and then last but not least is this changing pad so I have this if I take them to the baby care center you don't need this they have paper liners that are fresh and clean after every single child they're cleaning those or if someone walks off and leaves their paper liner you can throw it away and there's another one right underneath um, the table the changing table you can put it on there and you have a fresh one for your kids so I don't worry about taking it into there but if I go in the other bathrooms or traveling in the airport or whatever this is nice to have that way it's kind of a sanitary spot but it is rather large it's a full body and my two and a half year old fits on here nicely and especially having her head and stuff up off of where other kids faces and germs have laid it's just really nice but it is pretty long so I appreciate that but that is the last thing that I have in this bag, you guys. I know, it felt like a lot, but we finally made it to the end of the video. Um, I hope you have found this helpful. If you would like to see a warm weather summer version, um, comment the word summer or leave me a sun emoji in your comment. That way I can know I can do a summer version of this in a few months for once the weather starts warming up and temperatures and everything so that you can have a summer themed diaper bag. Um, Cause some of these were more winter and I do pack a couple of other things instead when it's summertime so if you would love to see that again leave me that sun emoji but I hope you have enjoyed the video if you haven't already click that red subscribe button the like button and I will see you next time bye all right into the video club you know the drill if you have made it this far into the video go ahead and leave me a backpack emoji in the comment section but thank you so much for being here thank you for sticking around for every last second of this video you guys are seriously the best. I am always blown away with how many of you stay until this point. So thank you for doing that. Thank you for being here. And I will see you right back here in the next one. Bye, you guys.